Natalie here today for a cherry on top and we're talking for Technique Tuesday titles. So I'm going to give you my favorite tips on coming up with titles as well as making titles on your page. The first way that I come up with titles is to use song titles or lyrics or poetry. So all these are examples of pages that either have partial song lyrics or some poems. I usually pull out one particular phrase or word of a poem to um, highlight and then add the rest of the poem around the title. I also don't mind changing the words, especially of a song to fit my um, my theme like I you saw earlier a purple wedding instead of a white wedding because we had a purple wedding not a white wedding so these are all examples of using titles in that way next I oh this is where is my hairbrush because my kid always used to hide my hairbrush it was his favorite toy <laughs> And next um, way to come up with titles is to just use a common phrase and maybe change it a bit, make it punny or make it fit your, um, your vernacular, your photo, taste the rainbow as a slogan. A slogan is a really good way to um, use a title. Peace, love, and dimples in this case because he was holding up a peace sign and he had dimples. And may the horse be with you instead of may the force be with you. So there you go. Just think kind of punny. Um, the slogan for the scrap gals is go and be crafty. So I use that here. My next tip is to take a thicker but embellish it more. So in all of these examples, I, there is one large word or phrase. And then I added my own smaller alphas that coordinated to make it a bigger title. So instead of just happy, this was happy little man. And instead of just sweet, this was sweet summer. And another way to come up with fun titles is just to use like inside jokes or things that you would say to your friends or that you say a lot. Um, I told my kid, don't eat the fart berries because I was trying to get him to smile for the camera and to cooperate in a wedding here. <laughs> um, just little phrases that you might say to your kids that are cute or silly. I always say that God didn't give me a girl, but he gave me pretty boys. So I just use that as a title on a page. Um, funny things that your kids say or quotes or phrases that you like to um, come up with or a little, what is it? Pet names for one another or something like that. This was an inside joke from a night out with our friends. So I just came home and talked about it and made a big old title that doesn't make sense unless you read the journal. <laughs> My favorite way to come up with titles though is to have a saved folder on Pinterest and Instagram of quotes, of t-shirt quotes. So to pick a theme, for my photo and I go to Instagram or I go to Pinterest and I put in t-shirt, boy t-shirt, toddler t-shirt, baseball t-shirt. And there are so many cute, punny t-shirt slogans and they are typically short enough for a title. That's the beauty of it. And that's why I really like to throw the word t-shirt in there because you're not typically gonna have a lot of words on a t-shirt. So they come up with cute little phrases that catch your attention that are perfect for titles. That's my favorite way of coming up with titles. And I adore a good pun. So for today, I'm going to show you how to create a title in um, Cricut Design Studio. So it, when you come up with your own um, unique titles, it's really great to use an electronic die cut machine. So in today's case, I'm gonna use the title Spotted Moms After Dark. Um, so I'll talk more about why I came up with that later, but I just wanted each letter to be separate. Normally when I do titles, I weld them and I will show you an example of how to do that, but I actually wanted them all to be separate this time. So I just picked a nice block letter because I wanted it to be large and I wanted to use a pattern paper. So I want you to be able to see the pattern well, and I just cut it two times. So the beauty of this as well is you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want. Wide, tall, fat, skinny. I mean, it's it's perfect to use an electronic die cut machine. This is an example of one I showed earlier where I made my own title with a scripty font and I added an additional shape to put thickers or alphabet stickers on. I did a title and I put in the rainbow made of to say made of magic. 
So I'm gonna show you an example with another phrase on how to create this. So I use the phrase pixie dust and I'm gonna go into my system fonts on Cricut. I click system there. I wanna use the system fonts and I picked a scripty font. You can get all kinds of free fonts at dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. Um, there's probably other websites where you can get free fonts too, but I use that one and upload them into my Cricut and you never have to pay for a font um, or buy another cartridge, cartridge or whatever. So what you just saw me do was to decrease the amount of space between each letter. But then I also like to manually tweak them. So I will highlight the word and ungroup everything. Then I'll just move all the letters to connect in the best looking way. I like to make them flow as if you had actually written them. Um, so the little tails match up with the letters um, that come next. And then once I have them in the location I want them, I'm going to select all and then I will hit the weld button and they will become one piece that you can cut out with your Cricut into one piece and you won't have to individually cut, uh, glue down all of that title. But I wanna add a shape to it to make an additional little phrase behind pixie dust. So I'm going to add some fairy wings. And another tip I have for you is to not buy cartridges or, or items. I mean, I'm sorry, but you can find absolutely anything you need on Google. Um, people give away beautiful free cut files all the time, or I'm going to show you how to create what you already create with what you already have. So I'm, I searched for the word wings and I filtered it to be only items that are free downloaded, uploaded, or that I already owned because I do have uploaded cartridges from when I had like the manual Cricut or the original one, I guess. So I'm gonna pick this dragonfly, but I'm gonna isolate the wings. So I'm gonna show you how to do that really quickly. And you could probably very easily find fairy wings. Like I, I like to search for the item I'm looking for and the word silhouette after on Google. And that usually gets me a, an image that's very um, conducive to being cut out. But I like these and I'm gonna show you how to use them. So I make them as big as I want them um, to go with the words. And then I'm going to cover it with a shape and slice it. And then that's going to give me an isolated image of just that little um, dragonfly. So I'm going to keep that part and I'm going to trash all the rest. Sorry, I was trying to type and hold the camera at the same time. So you're not missing anything. I'll, I'll get it back on track here in a sec. Okay, so there you have the isolated image of the dragonfly. So next I'm going to remove his head and his tail. Sorry, little dragonfly, because we're talking fairies here and I just want the wings. So I just pick a shape, it could be any shape, but um, I use like those circles to get rid of the extra little bits. I'm using a triangle to get rid of his tail. So I just cover it with that shape and then I select the two and click slice. And so whatever the triangle is covering, it's going to slice it off. So that is what I needed. And now I'm gonna use a um, circle to slice off his little head. And at first I was thinking about putting the wings on top of the word pixie dust, but I do end up changing it because I decided I want to do pixie dust or bust. And so obviously the shape will need to go below the word pixie dust. And again, I'm not using this on my page today. I just wanted to show you how you can create your own title within an electronic die cut machine. And I actually just placed a little tiny rectangle over those bits, but you could also trim them off with um, your scissors once you cut it out but i just wanted to make the wings a bit fatter to hold the alpha letters i planned on using so i connected the wings to the word and i just highlighted it all together and i'm welding it and now it'll cut out in one piece and you'll see here in just a second um i'm going to pull it off my mat and it's all one piece and you have your own custom title piece that no one else has ever used um so I'm just gonna add some alphas down here and then I can use them on the next um, Disney page that I make. So this is one way I love to create using cut files and thickers or other alphabet stickers. Um, I just really like to combine the two and almost every page I do, if I have more than one word in a title, I'm gonna use different fonts. I have a few different um, favorite manual dies um, I love to use different fonts and use block fonts with 
um, lettering fonts in Cricut as well as different thickers. I will combine thickers all the time. So now I'm going to use the first word we made, which was spotted, and I cut it out in a leopard print and a gold glitter. And they're the exact same size. And so my friend Michelle and I took this selfie the other night and we love leopard print. We have a severe love of leopard print. So I decided to go with that. We also were watching her child take selfies at the dinner table and we were joking around and pretending we were in an animal documentary to documentary and so that inspired this when i said spotted i thought okay we're in an animal documentary spotted um moms after dark because we don't get out much <laughs> and it inspired all of my journaling too which i'll try to read later it's super funny but this gorgeous embossed wood grain white cardstock is from lawn fawn and it's in the cherry on top store and so I just cut a bit to cover the top of this 9 by 12 page and I roughed up the edges with a little tear to add some interest. And I'm using the tear away tape to stick down the large white paper on top. I love the tear away tape because you can do tiny bits to adhere like your title, but you can also do big strips to adhere the paper like you see me doing here. So now I'm just going to figure out exactly where I want my photo and to be able to fit the title on. So I sewed down the middle of the leopard paper on top of the glitter and then I lifted up the leopard paper so you just get like little glimpses of the glitter cardstock underneath and I love it. Um, it is long. I probably should have made it shorter in my Cricut, um, but it's fine. It, up, it overlaps the photo and it looks nice. So I'm actually using a, two different alpha thick stickers after the die cut. I decided to go with this gold um, scripty font and then a, a gold glitter as well to kind of go with the glitter cardstock under the word spotted. I'm using greenery and dyes from the One Canoe 2 collection, I'm sorry, uh, Willow, and um, that one big anchoring die under the title is from Vicki Booten Storyteller. So I'm just layering the tag and a couple dies under the photo and putting kind of this little subtitle down at the bottom with a pretty floral because it's just us girls and I don't get to use a lot of florals a lot. So I will come, um, what's the word? Connect or tie together the upper portion of the title with the die cut with the bottom part of the die cut by using some, doing some handwriting journaling. And it was really cool because I figured out that I could use my white gel pen on this pink paper and so it didn't take away from the kind of bright white look of the page um it by like adding black type type so i love that tip if you have like a matte colored paper try to use like a light gel pen that really shows up well it's fun so I'm going to adhere everything down here and I'll read you my journaling real quick. It says spotted moms after dark spotted in a rare restaurant outing. The moms eat carbs as if they don't count on the weekends, although fully contoured with curled coats. Don't mistake this for a date night as the cubs were quite nearby. <laughs> oh, cause we were making fun of her daughter taking selfies in her native habitat. But yet here we are <laughs> doing the same thing. And I guarantee that both of us was wearing a little bit of leopard print in this photo, even if you can't see it. <laughs> um, I had so much fun creating this page. I hope you've gotten some fun tips on how to come up with unique titles. Titles are like my favorite part of the page. Um, they like, just like this title spawned my journaling. Um, and it really, I like to grab the reader's attention and make them want to look at the page and read the journaling and see what it's all about. And I love to be punny. And I have so many saved images on Instagram or Pinterest with funny little things. Um, so when I'm getting ready and I know that I want to scrap a sports photo or something, I'll think, oh, I have a few saved images for adventure photos or for holiday photos or something like that. And I'll scroll through and find what I'm looking for. And it's super fun. So let's see, what are we doing here? I'm just going to add my favorite new part of the page which is the essential jewels from pink fresh studio you can find um, they might be sold out in the store hopefully they'll get more these ones are black and they have like a gold shine with them so i like that with the black spots and spotted 
and I will just sprinkle them around the page and add my journaling and white ink, which you can see in the photos coming up. I'm certain there will be links down below to the store. Make sure you pop in and find all kinds of cute products. I really thank you for watching and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Bye y'all.